Who, who said? Who said you can stay here? So one. What's your name? What's your name? What's your last name? We have new video on bombing suspect Ahmed Rahimi, who's accused of three separate bombings and incidents in New York and New Jersey on September 17th and 18th. We've obtained police body camera footage of the Linden police officer that happened upon Rahimi on Monday, September 19th, before a gunfight that took place between Rahimi and the officers. Take a look at this. What you're seeing is an officer walking up to a man who was reported to them as being suspicious. The man is huddled in a corner under an awning in front of a bar in Linden, New Jersey. What's your name? What's your last name? Hi. Huh? Hi. You got an ID on you or no? No, no ID. You don't have anything with an ID? No, I don't. Where do you live? I, I'm homeless. What do you mean you're homeless? I haven't had a house for two weeks. Where do you used to live? I lived in the Sandboy. The officer then asks for backup because Rahimi was actually a suspect at that point. It's 718, you on the road? Now the video ends there. Now what happened next was scary. A gunfight between Rahimi and the officers ensued with two Linden officers being shot and Rahimi was shot seven times, but he survived. Everybody survived that gunfight. Now a viewer actually sent us a video we took from his car during the shootout. You can hear all of these gunshots. He's pled not guilty from his hospital bed on five state charges of attempted murder and gun charges. He is now incarcerated in Trenton. Now we have Joe Jackalone, a former NYPD detective sergeant with us via Skype to talk about what it's like for searching for an accused murderer or terrorist on the loose. Uh, from what you see from the video, could anything have been done differently as they approached Rahimi to maybe avoid this gunfight? And uh, did Linden police do a good job? Yeah, they didn't even know what they were, what they had. It could just show you how an ordinary job or routine job, what people call it, could be so extraordinary. So, I mean, you just get a call for a homeless guy. They didn't know who they were dealing with at the time. Is there something in law enforcement where he's definitely got information that could be useful in the future to not shoot to kill? Because getting shot seven times and surviving, I mean, they could have killed him. If you're going to get involved in a gunfight, you're not looking to say, well, I want to see if we can question this guy, so I'm going to try not to kill him. I mean, you're, you're really trained to stop and you're, you're, you're trained to shoot center mass. And that just happens to be where all of uh, the vital organs are. In that climate, should, have, should his gun have been drawn already? Should their guns have been drawn since they've been searching for this terrorist in that, in that area for two days? Well, I really believe they didn't know who they had when they first came up on him. So, you know, if you're just going for a homeless call, you're not going to have your gun out. With more departments getting these body cams, we see the full picture, we see the full story, we see what led up to that point. When you have just a person taking it from the street, the hardest part is we don't see the context. full picture. So we need context. The most interesting thing to me was actually, honestly, not much happens in this video. They have a conversation mm -hmm. with the guy and that just shows you how fast things go down. I remember from the initial accounts, I thought, you know, they went out with guns blazing. You would believe that hearing the initial accounts, but they have a conversation with him, he's hiding his hands and then bam.